Hello, my friends. Today, we are going to dive deeper into Ohm, the powerful DeFi lending platform in the Icon ecosystem. And I'm going to show you how to use the platform to earn on your crypto assets. And this video is the second video in an ongoing series that was made possible by a grant awarded to my channel by the Icon Foundation to make educational content about the Icon ecosystem. So a big thank you to the Icon Foundation for making this show possible. Now, in the last episode of this show, I talked about the fundamentals of Ohm as a lending protocol and all the opportunities that it can present to earn significant yield on your crypto assets by contributing to liquidity pools, staking, etc. The liquidity pools themselves are basically a means by which smart contracts can match lenders and borrowers without the peer-to-peer -peer counterparty risk that would be presented if lenders and borrowers were agreeing to these loans together directly. Now, if I wanna lend, you cryptocurrency for example let's say we agree to terms on that loan i have to trust you to pay me back the loan on time and all sorts of other trust factors come into play in this peer-to-peer -peer method with a lending protocol like ohm on the other hand the trust is manufactured by the protocol itself where liquidity for lending and borrowing comes from cumulative pools of assets that are deposited by liquidity providers or sort of net lenders. In this way, Ohm is a peer-to-contract model where one interacts with a smart contract-based system to perform lending and borrowing functions instead of peer-to-peer -peer direct. Now, I give you this background at a very high level in a very simplified way because I wanna show you how to use Ohm here in just a second. And it'll make a lot more sense if you generally understand the mechanisms behind it. However, there's one last element that I wanna share with you before we get started with me actually showing you the platform sort of hands-on. And that is more detail on how the lucrative rewards work and how you can earn using the Ohm platform. In fact, it's important to note that if you have the native ICX cryptocurrency for the ICON network on hand, you can earn triple rewards on Ohm with that one single asset. First, SICX, the product of staked ICX on the network, can earn you interest on the Ohm platform, which is then compounded by the staking rewards you're getting by holding that SICX in the first place. Then you can also earn Ohm rewards for using the Ohm platform along the way, giving you a variety of opportunities to earn on those assets. So remember, ICX deposited to the platform is automatically staked, so you're gonna earn right away when you deposit, basically. With other assets like wrapped USDC on ICON called IUSDC or the Stably USD stablecoin USDS, you can supply your asset to a market to earn a variable interest rate or provide it to a liquidity pool with Ohm tokens as a pair to earn even more. For every type of user, there is a path to earn in different ways on Ohm. And if you start with ICX, you can slowly build up Ohm, and then you have enough to provide liquidity in a pair between SICX and Ohm, for example. I digress. I, of course, want to state that all DeFi has risks as well, right? I, I need to be clear about that. So please understand that you can lose money by having exposure to cryptocurrency. Losing your wallet can cause loss of funds, etc. So please be careful and don't overextend yourself. Ohm, of course, has also not done releasing features and assets, and it has a bunch of awesome people behind it in the ecosystem with partners at Band Protocol and Synthetics, for example. And for those who are unfamiliar, Band Protocol is a powerful cross-chain Oracle platform that provides aggregated data feeds for things like crypto prices to DeFi protocols. And Synthetics is a DeFi cornerstone in the derivatives trading sector. Having partners and advisors like this from across the crypto space will continue to help Ohm innovate and build. And from a technology perspective as well, it, there's a lot of critical services like ban protocols, pricing oracles that they have access to. And without pricing oracles, DeFi is not a thing. It just doesn't work. The most important partners, though, in the Ohm platform are actually you and me, though. Me and you. People who use the platform and earn Ohm tokens to be a part of governance on the network. Those Ohm tokens you own are a vote in the path forward and the future of the protocol. And it operates in the true spirit of a decentralized organization in that respect. Now at this point, you have a clear understanding of how Ohm is set up, what it does, why it's cool, why it's awesome. 
what the risks are, etc. which means that we're actually ready to jump over to the computer and see Ohm in action. So I'm gonna show you how you get onboarded to Ohm, how you use the Icon desktop wallet, HANA, for those of you who already have crypto. And finally, I'll wrap up with an overview of how to use the Ohm interface and the various ways that you can start earning. All right, folks, here we are on the Ohm Finance app. Make sure that you check. The first thing you wanna do is make sure that you are on app.ohm.finance because there are plenty of sites out there, especially in the crypto space that are spoofing, trying to get you to give up your private key or your mnemonic phrase, whatever that might be, please just be very, very careful about what app that you are actually on. So once you're on this page, this is sort of the placeholder, we gotta sign in first. And sign in gives you these two options. You basically have the ability to connect a hardware wallet or an icon wallet, a software wallet of some kind, which we will talk about. But in my first Ohm video, which hopefully you've watched, I did mention Bridge, which is a mechanism for you to easily onboard to Ohm if all you have is an email and you wanna use your traditional bank account. So if you wanna do that, the way that you can do so is you can follow through this wizard where you'll go ahead and sign in. So if I provided an email, it would basically allow me to create an account on Bridge. And there are a couple of things that you're gonna to have to do to create that account on Bridge. It's very self-explanatory, so I'm not gonna walk through the whole thing here, but you'll create the account. You'll have to go through KYC process or know your customer. That's the way it goes for Fiat on and off ramps. And then you'll be able to fund your account in stable coins using your Fiat currency like US dollars, okay? Simple as that. There is waiting time involved in some of these processes, particularly when you're trying to move money from your bank. So just be aware of that. Now, if you are in the crypto space and you have been for any amount of time, you probably have a wallet already. If you're in the Icon ecosystem, you probably have a browser wallet, which currently today, the cool browser wallet that's available now is HANA, H-A-N-A. -A. It's gonna ask you for your password. And so once you log in, you'll see your good old account here ready to go, okay? So once you have the HANA wallet signed in, you'll be able to sign in on Ohm by clicking the icon button. You'll see here, my icon wallet is now uh, in business and you can see my balance here uh, in terms of uh, my, my icon. Well, in this case, um, I have my ICX and then also I have USDS, which is the stably USD stable coin, okay? So when you're on this page, it's gonna prioritize the markets that are available to you based on your assets. You can quickly flip back to see all markets. So in this case, I don't have any Icon USDC on hand. But here, now let's see, I'll click on my uh, my Stably, right? And so here, because I have nearly 500 USDS, I can provide or supply to this lending pool my USDS. Let's just say I wanna supply 200, not 2,000, 200 and I could then go ahead and supply and I'll be earning at about that 38.7% or 39% rounded up interest rate. Go ahead and sign your transaction and it will cost me approximately nothing in ICX except for this really small fee here uh, on the Icon blockchain. You'll see, you can go ahead and sign this transaction. Go ahead and authorize that. And then you'll see that sort of, that sort of reaction here up in the corner. And once you have uh, something supplied, you'll see that this changed up here, right? So you'll see you've supplied up at the top, you'll see you've supplied down here, and you'll be able to see what your APY is, right? So this is amount, the amount of interest that you'll earn on an annual basis. Of course, when you're looking at this, you're going to accrue it um, you know, a little bit over time, right? So it's not like you're gonna realize all the gains right up front. That's your, your annual percentage yield, your APY, okay? Now on this page, you also have more ways to earn, right? So right up here, if I had Ohm in my wallet, which I actually do, let me go ahead and refresh here and uh, that will show up. I can stake uh, my Ohm here. In this case, I can go ahead and stake. Let's go ahead and stake, say, Let's just stake it all, right? So we'll stake all of my Ohm. And here there is a lockup period, right? So you need to be aware of that. When you wanna actually take your Ohm out of stake, 
It takes three days to unstake your ohm. So in that case, right, I will be able to earn a significant annual percentage rate, 87% right now, okay? So let's say I'm on balanced and I wanna go ahead and supply liquidity so that I can take advantage of the liquidity pools on ohm. So in this case, I can go and I wanna use the ohm USDS pair, okay? So I'm gonna do that. In this case, let me just do half so you can see what it would be like generally to split it, okay? So I can supply equivalent values of ohm and USDS to this liquidity pool. And in return, I'm gonna get LP tokens, which are basically uh, vouchers to retrieve these tokens back. Please note, this is where you start to risk in permanent loss and other sort of derivatives of DeFi risks in DeFi. So make sure you know what you're doing here. I'm showing you how to do it, but I'm not going into the full depth of all the things that you need to know in order to, uh, to facilitate this with minimal risk, right? So make sure you do some research here and understand the underlying mechanics. That is a story for another video. So if I go ahead and supply, I can send these assets to the contract, which is needed to approve. And then once the assets are in the contract for the beautiful balanced application, I can go ahead and select supply, which is going to supply these assets to these liquidity pools balanced against each other. See, now it's shown up here. If I wanna withdraw, I do have to wait that 24 hour period in order to withdraw my assets. In return, I've gotten these LP tokens, which will then enable me to go back to Ohm. And if I go ahead and refresh the page here, I can select this. And you'll see now I have LP tokens that I can use to earn 199% on my pair, right? So I'm going to um, basically adjust my stake and I'm gonna stake all those LP tokens for that pool, the Ohm USDS pool that I've contributed to on the balanced application. So this is the last way to earn on this platform. There, it is basically a way to double down on the rewards that you can earn across the different uh, DeFi ecosystems or DeFi primitives in the icon world. So I can on balance contribute liquidity or supply liquidity to a pool for Ohm and USDS. And in turn, I can earn based on these LP tokens in stake on the Ohm application. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stake these. And once we are there, you will see right here, it's shown I am staking all 128 of my LP tokens that I got from supplying liquidity on the balanced application. Again, make sure you are on app.balance.network. Many sites out there that wanna scam you. So when you're supplying liquidity, make sure that you check that URL bookmark it so that you don't get caught uh, in a scam. All right, so there's your way to, ways to earn. Let me review, okay? So I can supply on the own platform itself, I can supply assets that could be borrowed by somebody else, right? I can supply to the lending markets. So I supplied 100, 100 USDS stable coins and I'm earning a 38% give or take uh, percentage on this, okay? Then on the rewards side, I can sort of double down on that. I can stake my own tokens, which I have in my wallet, so OMM, or in the case that I wanna use balanced as well, and I have Ohm on hand and paired with one of these assets, so Ohm and staked ICX, Ohm and the USDS stablecoin, or Ohm and the USDC stablecoin on Icon. If I go ahead and provide liquidity for those on balanced, I get my LP tokens in return, the vouchers, if you will, and I can stake those here to earn even more on those rewards. So I'm sort of doubling my rewards or doubling down on my rewards throughout the platform. And there are a bunch of the different ways that you can use this uh, platform to earn yield, okay? Now here, you can also facilitate uh, the wonderful process of governance, right? So you can see different governance proposals here and you can see how, how they were voted, right? Now on this particular page, you also see 
a list of all the public representatives or P-reps on the ICON ecosystem. And so when you stake OM, because it's equivalent to ICX, the OM that you stake gives you a vote in these proposals and allocations to vote on P-reps. So that is sort of the meta governance or pass through governance that you have in the own platform. So I hope that helps give you an idea of how to use these different features and functionalities in the different areas where you can earn and generally how to do it. I didn't go into the deepest of depths on the individual risk profiles of each thing. Awesome. Now, over the last two episodes of this Icon Focus show, I've shared with you a ton of information about OM, how it works, how to use it, how to use it to earn yield and more. But what I haven't talked about is what's next for OM and Icon in general. And you know that I'm a general huge proponent of cross-chain interoperability, where many blockchains coexist together and communicate with each other, which is why I'm a fan of Icon and its blockchain transmission protocol, or BTP, in the first place. BTP is the topic of the upcoming shows along with the next generation of the ICON network in ICON 2.0. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel for those two episodes about BTP and ICON 2.0. And Ohm is going to take advantage of BTP to allow cross-chain lending outside of its existing bridge solutions through Orbit Bridge. Cross-chain lending opens up new forms of liquidity and assets from other blockchains to give Ohm users more opportunities to earn and participate. Interoperability is huge, not only for OM, but the entire crypto ecosystem at large. And so next week, I'm going to start to unpack ICON 2.0 and what that is. Then I'm going to talk about BTP in the following episode. And I can't wait to share all of this with you. So thank you so much for watching this. Thanks again to the ICON Foundation. If you have comments or questions, leave them in the comments section down below. And have a fantastic week ahead. Until next time, cheers.